Family, you know, we read the Bible in light of the coming of Jesus. God gave Jesus for mankind's salvation. In fact, Jesus said this about himself. This is John 14, verse 6. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And the disciples proclaimed this. This is Acts chapter 4, verse 12. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. So, in light of what we know about Jesus as revealed by the New Testament, today's proverb really gets to the heart of the matter. Take a look at Proverbs chapter 20, verse 2. The terror of a king is like the growling of a lion. Whoever provokes him to anger forfeits his life. The New Testament reveals Jesus as both the king above all kings and a lion. The first time that King Jesus came to dwell among us, he came gentle. He is called the lamb that takes away the sins of the world. But the next time King Jesus comes, he will come like a roaring lion. Uh, the first time he came, he brought salvation to all who will believe in him. The next time he comes, he will bring justified wrath and righteous judgment to this earth. Have you ever seen this verse? This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 10. And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. So here is an important truth for you and I to know today. The sin that we have committed in our life deserves the wrath of God. Sin makes God angry. Sin provokes God to righteous judgment. What does our proverb for today say? Whoever provokes him to anger forfeits his life. God sent his son Jesus to save us. Whoever repents of their sin and believes in him and lives for him will be saved. Here is what the scripture says. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. And Jesus came as a lamb. He is coming back as a lion. And you want to be on the right side of his coming again. Every person has a choice to make. Receive King Jesus and live, or provoke him to anger and forfeit your life. I want to be clear on this. God gave his one and only son, Jesus, for your salvation, because he loves you. Will you love him back? Well, God bless you. I'll see you next time.